सो हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई हैव अगेन कम बैक आफ्टर अ लॉन्ग टाइम विथ अ रिक्वेस्ट प्रॉब्लम सो द दिस प्रॉब्लम इज फ्रॉम द सेम बुक पाथ फाइंडर फॉर ऑलिम्पियाड एंड आई टी जी फिजिक्स दिस इज फ्रॉम द चैप्टर ऑफ इम्पल्स मोमेंटम सेक्शन चेक योर अंडरस्टैंडिंग क्वेश्चन नंबर टू सी थ्री आइडेंटिकल लॉन्ग मेटल बार्स ईच ऑफ मास एम आर प्लेस्ड in a stack on a horizontal floor as shown surfaces of the plates as well as of the floor are lubricated with oil so force f of viscous drag from lubricating oil on a surface is given by f equal to minus k v relative okay so where k is a positive constant and v relative is the velocity of the surface layer uh, uh velocity of the surface relative to the other if the upper bar is given a velocity u towards the right by a sharp hit find the displacement of each of the bars when all of them stop so all of them will stop simultaneously and you have to find uh, displacement of each bar when all of them stop so let us begin by uh, first we will assume uh, suppose uh, say let's name the bars the upper bar be 1 and say velocity of the upper bar is v1 and just below it's v2 and the lowest bar is v3 okay so uh, v1 v2 and v3 vary with time and at last uh, when they stop then v1 v2 and v3 each will be equal to 0 and all of them will be equal to zero now so let us analyze the force so let's draw the upper bar let's draw one by one the bars so this is one uh next one is two and the so next one is three now what are the viscous forces So what are the viscous forces? Let us see. Say on the upper bar. So here, viscous force will be uh, K times C if uh, V one is greater. So then V one minus V two. Okay. See, as it is, uh, velocity of the layer relative to the other. So that is K into V one minus V two. And on two. Suppose with respect to v v two, so the upper force is uh, k into uh, v two minus v one, and there the force will be k into v two minus v three, and uh, say on two, on two on the upper surface of two, on the upper surface of two, the force is k times v three minus v two, and on the lower surface. Of three, so it's actually k into v three minus zero. That means ground is at rest. So it's uh, simply k into v three. Now we'll write the equations. So m uh, d v one d t m d v one d t is equal to k v one minus k v two. Same way for the second one, m d v two d t uh, is equal to k v two. Minus k v three, and for the last one, m. Uh, sorry, I have missed out uh, the point. So there are more times k v two minus. So what is the net force? So it's uh, k v two, uh, k into two v two minus v one minus v three, right? Yeah. So it is k into, uh, as you see, two v two. Minus v one minus v three, and on a uh, three, we can write m d v three d t is equal to k into. Okay, so that will have a minus sign. Sorry, minus sign. Okay, minus sign will be there. So it's a uh, k into a two v three. So there you have two v three. Minus v two. Okay, so do not forget the minus sign. So I have to fit in all this in this small space. 
let us border the equation okay minus sign because uh, velocity is decreasing i mean force is uh, not only decreasing actually uh, the viscous force is in opposite direction that means negative direction of its axis that means towards the left that is why this minus sign okay now you know integral v1 dt is equal to okay let's x1 x2 and x3 be the distances moved by the bars so actually uh, what's x1 so you know x1 is equal to integral of v1 dt similarly x2 is equal to integral of v2 dt similarly x3 is equal to integral of v3 dt so from the first equation you see so therefore minus m into so uh, v1 varies from so u to 0 right so it will be integral of v1 so integral of dv1 starts from u and here final velocity is 0 so that's equal to when you multiply dt you have k times x2 minus x or k times x x1 minus x2 rather k times x1 minus x2 let me write it as like this uh, k times x1 minus k times x2 okay so therefore m times u is equal to k times x1 minus k times x2 or let us put it inside block now uh, next all these equations they are very much simple just draw this border okay uh, next one say suppose we integrate uh, this minus m dv2 so what will you get it starts from 0 and ends up at 0 okay because uh, v2 0 to 0 it starts and then stops so therefore on the left hand side you have 0 so you now have uh, this x2 2x2 equal to x1 plus x3 okay same way here uh, you have 2x3 is equal to x2 okay so these are the equations so now now uh, in the first equation so you know 2x3 equal to x2 so let us put it here uh, this these two equations you can combine these two equations you can combine so what will you get uh, say in terms of x1 in terms of x1 to get is to equal to 2x3 so 4 uh, so x2 is equal to 2x3 so you get 4x3 4x3 is equal to x1 plus x3 that means x1 is equal to 3 times x3 so x1 is equal to 3 times x3 so you get x2 equal to 2x3 and x1 equal to 3 times x3 now let us go back to this equation here you have mu is equal to k times x1 minus uh, so x2 equal to so x2 equal to 2x3 so I want to find it in terms of okay let's uh, substitute x1 here so always done with it just the last step so uh, 2x1 will uh, substitute in terms of x3 suppose so x1 equal to 3x3 so 3k x3 minus k x2 so x2 is 2x3 so 2k x3 so therefore that implies x3 
is equal to m u by k so as x3 equal to m u by k therefore x2 equal to twice m u by k and obviously x1 is equal to 3 m u by k uh, so that's it